so True Blue's having trouble logging into Tycoon. Um, so I guess we'll jump into a little bit of a Spark Tycoon, just a quick tutorial here. Um, so in order to start, you do need to get your Block Explorer uh, at the Epic Spark Exchange. So I think it's here. Yeah. All right. So you have to come here. Uh, well, I'm in I'm in San Francisco. Uh, personally so and i've already got mine pulled up so i don't have to be there at the moment um but anyway if you're in san francisco uh you gotta go to 465 lansdale avenue uh get your block explorer there and then you click on the epic spark exchange right here and take you to the application um, if you're in a different city i think you can go to the directory go to dev shops and dun, 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 let's see. Okay, Epic Spark Exchange. There's one in Tokyo, London, Birmingham, Berlin, Detroit, Chicago. Is there one in every city? Cleveland, Porto, Rutherford, Bronx, Manhattan, Queens. So anyway, I won't read them all. There's a bunch we of got them. a few of them. Uh, so go find you know whatever city you're in, and you gotta get, you gotta get your block explorer there. Click on it. Click right here, take you to application. When it takes you to that application, um, you will, you'll then need to connect your account, which you click on the three dots here, you go to settings, uh, you go to third party applications. Um, what you have to do is connect a new app uh, and then you get the code from the Upic Spark Exchange, you enter that code uh, and then that's how it connects. So I up Spark Exchange V2. Uh, that is where I uh, connected right there. So um, so anyway, you you want to connect your account, and that's how you're going to get into the up Spark Exchange. So let me know if you were doing that True Blue or if that was working for you. Um, and then I'll switch screens over here. All right, so you'll start here, uh, usually like in the banking section here. Um, so this is where you can, once your account is connected, you can import Upix uh, into your account. Uh, and then you've got here, if you wanna do like rent your Spark out or just, get something some construction so true blue you are connected but you can't log in um, that's weird true blue so what I would do is go to the Upix spark exchange uh, discord and actually I would go tag stosh in the spark tycoon channel um, I actually put a link in the uh, main chat in our discord yesterday so you if you're not in there you should be able to get in there uh they've actually the mods in there have been extremely active uh so go in there maybe tell them what what the issue is you're having trouble logging in um because we're already past my technical abilities uh to, to I'm, I'm helping you to log in there so um so yeah anyway hopefully you can go get into that Caesar says to reset your login. They said they're okay, so you've already done that. They're looking into it. <clears throat> okay, well, hopefully you get that figured out. Um, if you are connected, hopefully you're doing treasure hunts and you're able to uh, be accumulating resources. Uh, so I left, I did some treasure hunts today and kind of left everything as is just to kind of show everybody, um, you know, what's how, how this works. Uh, and you just started playing this yesterday too, right, SC? I did. I've been having a blast with it. Um, yeah, it's been... So, uh, I, I love all the other creators and, and games and, and everything that's being created. Um, if it's too time-consuming for me, though, I, I, you know, I'm just not... Uh, I don't know. I just don't put a whole lot of time into kind of the Layer 2 stuff. 
Um, so this one appealed to me because of how automatic it is. It probably adds about maybe one minute of time, um, you know, per day or even every couple days, maybe maybe two minutes. So it's really simple, really quick. Um, and then disclaimer, disclaimer here. Uh, first of all, you know, I, I'm just playing the game. I'm not, we're not, you know, partnered with them or, or anything with uh, Epic Spark Exchange. Just playing the game. Um, and, uh, um, shoot, lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, and everything is in beta. So everything, you know, they're adding, they're just kind of doing a, you know, from my knowledge, a kind of proof of concept, getting getting some basic mechanics worked out. So there's been a lot of questions on, you know, what else are nodes going to be used for? What are what else are resources going to be used for? Is there going to be more resources? Different ways to accumulate resources? And their answers to this is yes, it's all coming in, in the future with development of the game. So uh, right now, basically, the only things to do uh, uh, is to accumulate lumber, accumulate ore, and accumulate energy. Um, and then with those, you can create nodes. Uh, so uh, I think two days ago or so, I, I started a lumber node right here. Um, I left it uncollected so I could show you guys. Uh, so basically, I have five lumber right here. It Each, when you start a, like a lumber node or an ore node, um, it does cost 1,000 UPEX. So like to unlock, um, to unlock a node slot, it does cost 1,000 UPEX. Uh, so I've unlocked two here, and then uh, if, if you want to add a node, so you have the lumber mill right here, which is what I started. You need 60 lumber, 20 ore, and 20 energy. Uh, 20 lumber, 60 ore, 20 energy for the ore mine, and then the windmill, you need 80 lumber, 80 ore, and 20 energy. Um, the lumber mills produce four lumber per day. The ore mines produce four ore per day. And then the windmills produce one energy per day. Now, uh, so I want to collect my resources. So I have five lumber. And those lumber, that lumber just went into my balance over here. Um, I was considering, I don't know what it's going to cost me. I'll see what it'll cost me. I might not do it today. I was considering starting a node on stream here today, but I don't know if I have enough because when you go to the marketplace, holy moly, look at the um, uh, floor. Right oh, now. that's way up. It's, it's actually the highest I've seen the floor. It was at 75 last night for a short bit. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's huge. So you have lumber right here, which you can sell for 62 upix. That is the floor price. Uh, the floor, I saw it at 27 yesterday. Um, so it's up big time at the moment, and this fluctuates quite a bit. I think I got um, in at 37, and it, it was up pretty quick last night. So if you bought the floor up yesterday, you could be selling it back to him today, uh, which is interesting. Um, so, but anyway, so you have some options here, right? So uh, I need 20 energy. I want to start an energy, um, a windmill node. So I need 20 energy. Uh, I need, and then I need 80 of each of these, which is going to be expensive. So, like, if I wanted to buy 50, 46, so I need to buy 46 lumber. At this moment in time, that's going to cost me 2,800 upix. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. I think I'm personally going to wait. I know some people have been playing and. You can totally come in and just buy enough resources and get your node started. Um, I didn't even go into how do you collect your resources. Uh, the reason this is so simple is because my account is connected. I earned all of these today. I did have some previous energy from yesterday, and then I sold some resources yesterday. So this is, um, I had six energy to start today, so I've gained 11 energy today through hunts, uh, 29 and then 29 lumber through hunts, and then I collected my five lumber from my from my own node. So, I there's different way like different strategies right here, right? So I could totally go and sell um, the lumber and the ore and the energy, and so I could 
probably make about 6,000 upics from the ore and the lumber. Let's see what the energy floor is at. Now, the energy is what's expensive. It was close to 1,000 earlier. I've seen it as low as six or 700 right now. Wow, look at that. The floor is at 1125. Holy cow. Um, so I could put 17 energy up at 1125 and earn close to 20,000 upics right now. Um, I, I think I'm kind of just more in a speculation phase. I want to get some nodes going and, you know, I'm going to, I guess, kind of take a gamble that in the future, these resources are going to go up in value and be useful for, for other things. And I kind of want some nodes generating that on a daily basis. Um, so that's, and I want to do it without spending a whole lot of Upix. I put 5,000 Upix into this account. And so I've made 1,600 Upix here selling lumber and ore. Um, I haven't sold any energy yet. I've just been, I wait until I accumulate and then, so I might even keep these because I'm going to need 80 tomorrow. I'll probably get enough energy tomorrow and then I need to accumulate. I don't want to break the bank starting nodes. Um, so anyway, that's that's my strategy at the moment. You can you can not start any nodes and just sell all these every single day um, and make, make some decent upics. I know some people in our Discord have been making some decent upics uh, just selling the resources. Um, but I think I'm going to get a few nodes started. So have, have you thought about what you want to do? Yeah, I've got uh, three nodes started in uh, nice. Hyde Park, actually. I've got a, a windmill, a lumber, and an ore. So I ended up doing one of each. The So when you're treasure hunting, what do you find you're earning the most, the most frequent? Uh, so lumber and ore are the most common uh energies are definitely more more rare mine so um, far have been uh energy and oh really or has been my highest and energy right behind it interesting so did you say you started three nodes i did and so so i'm guessing that you put some upics into that i did put a little bit of upics in yeah and then I've done, so um, I guess, two days worth of treasure hunting as well. Okay. So, and it, you only collect resources on paid sends. So if you send to your own property, you do not collect any resources. Um, it has to be a paid send. So, and so the reason I personally like this is because I treasure hunt anyway. So when I treasure hunt, I'm going to accumulate these resources. And then I can use them to start nodes or sell them. And it takes about 10 seconds to list them. Uh, it takes about 10 seconds to, to get a node started. Um, and so, yeah, I, about, you know, another 30 seconds or so per day to make some more upics or get some nodes going and we're good to go. Yeah, it's pretty easy to use, real user friendly. Uh, speaking of sends, is anybody else having trouble getting their daily sends? I haven't actually got sends in probably over 12, 13 days for my daily sends, the three that we get. I don't know if anybody else was having trouble. I did reach out to Upland, but I hadn't heard back anything yet. So I was thinking maybe they were out for the holiday or something that I hadn't heard back. Yeah, that's really interesting. I've not had that issue. Um, a couple other quick notes. Your node can only hold three days worth of resources that it creates so you will have to log in and at least collect every three days um, if you want to keep collecting uh, your you know regular so your small townhouses only have one node slot your townhouses have three uh, your ranch houses have two your apartments uh, at the moment the max is six that you can have um, and so you're you're gonna be incentivized to want to have structures so that you can put nodes on them. Uh, so that brings some good value to Spark. There has been talk, so none of this is uh, for sure. This is just some chatter I saw in the Discord. But maybe some incentives, like if you if you uh, do some Spark rental with them or, or some construction, I mean, maybe you'll get uh, 
some nodes given to you or maybe some resources there there's possible other things in the future that that they're looking at incentivizing um you know people for using the platform oh and last thing you also accumulate if we go to the arcade here you also accumulate gold coins um so you can buy tokens right here one token is 25 epics um but i've actually accumulated these through the treasure hunts as well and then you can go play the mini games right here in the arcade um i had the flapping bird high score for a minute ah crap it's gone um and mp souza 1000 is taking me down i had 12 and then now he's gotten 14 and 16. um right now there's no incentive to play the games uh, there are kind of fun this is the old school flappy bird kind of uh game which went viral for a while and then um but I, again chatter from the discord nothing is official uh there might be some incentives to play the games such as you play the games you'll be rewarded with uh, resources uh that could be an, an option as as well so anyway again none of that is for sure that is all just uh talk amongst uh the the people in the discord and stuff like that um, that's pretty cool stuff so with the with the properties that you build up now so we build these uh, windmills and or mining places does that stay with the properties is that going to be something that's going to add value to our properties in upland do you know so that was addressed in the discord and the nodes stay with the properties so if i oh. if i go and i sell this property 6336 7th avenue uh the nodes that are attached to this actually go along with with that sale so whoever acquires it um will will get that so i think it definitely can bring some value um right so if you just if you didn't go collect any resources if you just wanted to go buy a node right you have to go buy 20 energy let's just say a thousand upics each at the moment uh with the market that's twenty thousand upics you're going to need um probably at least another ten thousand upics to get your ore and lumber so you're looking at roughly thirty thousand upics to start a node um and so does that add thirty thousand upics value to your property yeah that's a good it's a good question um, and that's just for one node. So what if what if the structure has three nodes attached to it? Is that ninety thousand epics worth of mm. of value, you know, to that to that property? Um, so if I, I really hope to see this continue, more more incentives to start nodes, more incentives to collect resources, uh, keep the marketplace here healthy and and active, um, and yeah, I, I could see some really, really cool things coming coming from this. And and again, the reason I like it is because I kind of just log in, see what I got, see if I want to start a node, see if I want to sell anything. You know, if yes, it takes a few seconds. If not, I just log out. So, um, yeah, good way. I, I've made sixteen or uh, fifty six hundred upics without really trying, with without hardly any extra time. Um, I. I could make another 30,000 epics probably right now if I wanted to. Um, but I'd rather start some, some nodes. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So I know you mentioned that you can only on your nodes, you can only collect for three days. So if you do not collect those, do you lose them? Do they burn? So you don't lose them. Um, it just stops accumulating. Hmm. So, da -da -da -da. So I just collected. This is the when this bar finishes, I'll have a another another lumber to uh, collect. Uh, so three times four, so basically it can hold like twelve lumber. Okay. So it'll just it'll just stop accumulating after after twelve. So you will want to log in and collect those at least every couple of days so that you uh, continue to accumulate. Very cool. So lumber is four a day, and so is ore, and then energy is just one a day yeah and keep in mind everybody this everything is subject to change and and uh, adapt as as they're testing the market and you know uh, 
just kind of figuring out the mechanics of the game. So it's all it's all up in the air and, and subject to change and things like that. So uh, just keep that in mind as you're getting started. We're, you know, basically, you know, helping them get this launched and, and off the game. Uh, they haven't asked us to. They have opened it up to the public, but it is uh, still still a lot to to do and a lot in the works. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So I've really liked messing around with it. And, um, you know, what a great way to, you know, just add in more value long term to the property. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, what things come of it. And I, I like that it ties into um, the gold. You were showing the gold for the arcade, too. So I'll have to check that out. I didn't even realize I, I was probably earning some gold as well on top of all the other resources. Yeah, you probably got some in there. Um and uh, I, I messed around, just kind of messing around with a few of the games. Uh, and they were pretty fun, pretty pretty, pretty basic. But it would be cool if there was incentive to play the games, too. Uh, maybe get some resources from that or something like that. So that, that could yeah. be interesting. Uh, so anyway, I think that's the, the gist of Spark Tycoon. Had some people asking about that. Um, so if you're interested, uh, reach out in Discord, um, and we can get you the link to the to their Discord in case you have any questions. Uh, like I said, their Discord has been very active, so jump in there and ask questions if you if you need anything, or, or reach out to us. So I'll help out if I can. Uh, True Blue says, "I wonder if I have a bunch of stuff from being signed up for a while. If you did that third party application." Uh, connection if you did that then i'm i'm sure you've been accumulating because it just does it automatically uh and well the, and if you've been doing sins in upland so if you've been treasure hunting or just sending to properties um then yes you should be uh and there's so like every time you send to a a property a paid send you have a 75 percent chance of getting um uh, resources so not every send is guaranteed that you get resources, only a 75% chance. And that could be energy or lumber or gold coins. So you don't know, you don't know what you're accumulating. Um, okay, good, True Blue. So yeah, you should, when, when you're able to log in, when you're able to, to do that, then you definitely should have some resources um, accumulated. But yeah, so it's just a percentage chance of, of earning those those resources yeah i was collecting as soon as i signed up through the third party app so it was pretty quick yeah it looks like we just sold another property too so if we sell one more property we will be given away a ornament as well now was that yours uh it was i just saw it pop up and i'm not sure who bought it but it did disappear uh, it looks like it's Maui, actually. Thank you, Maui. Oh, my bad, too. Um, well, I just I just sold one 20 minutes ago. To, I just saw it to... Which one did I say on 3207 West 74th? Is that the one I just put up? Because Ocho just bought it. Oh, sweet. So I, I think we just... I think we just did it i'm checking right now yep i sold mine too so we sold two all right at the um at the end we'll do a giveaway for that then awesome let's see uh, oh i need to put this spin wheel together real quick i forgot about that uh um, any other anybody have any other questions on spark tycoon or did i miss anything sc I think that's that's it. I mean, that's as much as I know and have messed with. No, it looks like Caesar just got himself a energy accumulator. It's got yeah, a that's mill factory. That's what I want. I want the energy coming in. So it's it takes a little bit of time to accumulate enough, but that's what I'm I'm gonna do the same thing, Caesar. That's the next one I'm gonna make. Let's see here. Let's do I'm getting this giveaway ready. 
Oop, I almost now, hung up on you. Giveaway that we're doing right now. This is for from the last video. This one. Hang on. <laughs> 